Hi there. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a custom font asset for a large character set, sort of like uh, for Chinese or Korean and so on and so forth. And in this case, I'm actually going to uh, do the whole Korean um, character set, or at least what I believe is the entire character set. So let's uh, begin. So first things off, I'm going to bring up the font asset creator. Um, I've already imported from uh, the Windows, you know, I'm running on Windows, this uh, Malgun, uh, I guess, TTF file. Uh, so I'm going to pick this TTF, which is right here. And in terms of what to generate, um, when you're going to generate a large character set, like right now it's set for ASCII, so I can click Generate Font and we'll see the ASCII font, which is fine. But that's not the set that we want. So what I typically do uh, for large sets, because they can take a lot longer time to generate, is I'm going to go to a custom size. I'll pick something like 36. And this is just a ballpark to get a feel. Um, if I know, again, I'm going to generate lots of characters, uh, obviously, I'm going to need to increase the size of the map. So in this case, I'm going to go to the full 4K. Um, I'm using a, a newer version of the Font Asset Creator, which has this fast packing method. Uh, that's going to be in beta release 0 0.1.45, which is coming up hopefully this week. If I stop making videos and, and doing a bunch of stuff, but I'm, I'm working hard on it. But anyway, so this allows us to... Um, you know, for normal fonts and whatever stuff, the packing method doesn't matter. But when you're getting to three, four, five, six thousand characters, yeah, it starts to make a big difference. So anyway, so in terms of what I want to generate, obviously I don't want the ASCII set. What I'm looking for is a custom range of characters. Now the um, Hangul, I believe, is the proper term um, for the Korean set. Basically, the values of that set is it ranges from 44,032 to 55,203, which is exactly 11,172 characters. Um, so I'm going to hit, before I switch to generating in sign distance field mode, I'm just going to use the hinted smooth, because at this stage, all I'm after is knowing what size I need to fit all the characters in there. Um, and right now I know they won't all fit. Um, so I'm going to hit Generate Font Atlas. And at this point, um, the plugin starts and I can hear my PC ramp up the processor. The progress bar is not even moving because we're still trying to generate the font asset. And then, um, and, and for most fonts, this part's like done instantly, but because there's so many characters, it takes a while. Hasn't crashed, it's just doing its thing, and there we go, we're done. So here, they're super tiny, small, uh, and we can see that we generated this font. The point, point size was 36, which, was, which is what we had picked, but we only got 9,295 characters. So clearly, the 36 point size in this case is too big. Um, and by the way, I wouldn't use auto for anything that's these sizes because auto, uh, auto sizing internally tries a bunch of them. And in this case, they can take a while. So you don't want your machine to just be sing sitting there chewing away at rasterizing stuff. So I do it manually and then I tweak it from there. So in this case, I've already done this. I know that I can fit 33 point size and I have to reduce the, pad in, uh, the padding size down to four. Um, which is fine. And at this point, I'm going to hit Generate Font Asset. So now it's going to try it again, and we're going to take a look at what we get, just to make sure over here that we don't get the yellow uh, color, which indicates something is missing. Uh, we're looking for gray or white, which means everything fit. So right now, I, I guess it's not white, it's blue. But all 11,000 whatever fit in there and we still have some room to spare. Um, but when we do the SDF, it's a little bit different, so this is actually fine. Again, you're gonna have to experiment with this, I meaning this is a huge font asset. Uh, so typically I would come here, pick the distance field 16, and then start to generate the font like I'm doing right now. 
and this would take on my machine about four minutes to generate. So I'm not going to do it right now, but it would take about four minutes, and then you'd get all 11,172 characters, and you get a sign distance field out of it. So instead of doing that, I'm going to show you another example or another method, because although we can generate a font asset that has 11,000 characters or whatever, I don't think, well, um, I'm not sure it's that practical to have that many. Second, I'm not sure that you use that many, um, but again, I don't speak or know Korean, so maybe you do use all the characters. But assuming you didn't, um, what I would recommend is to, um, if you're making a game, and unless you're going to have a chat component or something, or unless your language has like a common set of characters, maybe there are um, subsets of this 11,000 that are commonly used, and then there's a bunch of them that are rarely you know, use, then I'd skip those. But assuming your game did not have a chat component and all your text in your game was already known in advance, what I would do is I would parse through this text and generate a list of all the text. Then instead of choosing custom range, I would pick characters from file and I would give this text file to our font asset creator and then it will generate every single character that it finds in that file. That way, if your game has 1,436 characters, you're going to get an asset that has exactly those. So that's one way of doing it. The other way that I'm going to show you right now is I brought up this uh, uh, page here um, from StarCraft um, that basically set... I mean, I have no idea what it is. Luckily, it says Terran, so I know they're speaking about the Terran race. So I've got this body of text, and I'm going to copy this, make this go away, and then instead of picking custom range, I'm going to pick custom characters. And in this case, because it's less, um, uh, it's a smaller quantity of characters, I'm going to actually go back to my auto sizing. Um, I'm going to switch down to just a 1K map because I don't need 4K. And I'm actually going to paste all the characters from that paragraph. Um, and just so you see it faster, I'm going to switch back to Hinted Smooth. And now we're going to generate every single character that we found in this list. And it basically said, look, whatever paragraph of text that I had, um, it was 169 characters. Here you can see some messages saying so-and-so character is a duplicate. Uh, internally, I look through the entire list. If there's a duplicated character, I get rid of it. Um, so then we generate all the unique characters. Now, once this looks satisfactory, I'm going to switch back and choose my distance field, which takes longer to generate. So that's the reason why I go hinted smooth first. Then once it looks good, I pick the distance field option and now I'm going to generate the real distance field one. So now the progress bar shows up and now it's actually computing the sign distance field um, font asset. And the auto sizing told us it was an 81 point size in terms of this is the sampling. So here we have it actually, you know what, I'm going to push it up to a five padding because we can and it's not that long to generate anyway so I'm doing it again here so when you're uh, generating the 11,000 characters you saw that the progress bar kind of didn't show up and then it went super fast the first phase is literally just the plugin extracting the data from the TTF file um, and then the progress shows up when the SDF is being computed. So now this looks good. We've got the padding. I'm going to save this asset um, and we'll hit save. And now we can see that it showed up right here. I'm going to close this. I'm going to actually, well, let's actually create a new one. I'm going to create a new text mesh pro object right here. Uh, in this case, we don't care about this text. We're going to switch right away to our new font asset and I'm going to paste again all the text that we had. Now I'm going to, now this is where I have no idea what I'm doing in terms of um, where I'm word wrapping the stuff. So I'll turn on word wrapping and here we essentially have, I need to move this this way. 
So whatever copy of text that I grab from this web page that talks about Terran, this is what we generated. So this allows, and if I zoom in, just again, I have no idea if these characters look good or meaning they look good to me, but this is how you basically would generate it. Now in terms of styling, doesn't matter what these are, if I go back here and I choose like outline, for example, I can add an outline to my characters. I use 0.25. So let's go 0.2. I'm going to dilate them to keep their uh, sort of the surface area of the characters the same. And then if I want, I can add like an outline. Let's zoom in, not an outline, but a shadow so we can see it. So here you can see that I'm setting the offset for the shadow. I'll make it soft and zoom back out and voila so in I guess 10 minutes I guess five minutes you know me babbling about how to generate the original 11,000 characters and then me showing you how to do this part and that's it so I hope you uh, enjoyed this video I hope it it was useful for you if you have any questions or comments feel free to post um, again thanks for watching and thanks for your interest in TextMesh Pro